So for the third day in a row, we had that heat advisory for the second day in a row. We had a feels like temperature in Fort Lauderdale at 109. And for the second time this year, we had a feels like temperature in Marathon at 115. But we want to talk about 95 degrees and what it does to your car. So today was 95 and I would say 94, 95, 96. These are the temperatures we're expecting every day through next week. A lot of that has to do with that Saharan dust that arrives on Sunday really knocks out our rain chances. But let's say that the outside air temperature is 95 and your car is sitting in the sun after 10 minutes, that temperature rises to 114, 124 after 20 minutes, 129 after 30 minutes, 133 after 40 minutes, and finally after an hour, 138. The reason why we're talking about this is because yet again, there was another death of a child left in a car. And obviously we're talking about the tragic death of a human being, but these temperatures apply to your pets as well. You never want to leave your dog in a car because after 60 minutes in the sun, it's 138 degrees. One final point. We do get a question. What happens if you park in the shade? Obviously that's going to help tremendously, but even after a couple of hours, you'll still get up over 100 degrees. Maybe it just doesn't happen as quickly as in the blazing sun. Coming up in just a few minutes, your full forecast, including the Saharan dust and a continuation of those hot temperatures, Trina.